Hi guys, hi guys and dolls, out as Alice Matthews coming at you. Hi everybody on YouTube. I already said that, didn't I? What it is is I want to do a video and the thing is there's new things that's come out in um, YouTube and I don't see me I don't see me ever becoming monetized but it doesn't mean that I'm gonna give up or quit YouTube. The reason why I've never put a video out saying that I would quit YouTube is because a lot of people that do that put out a video about quitting YouTube that's for clickbait or to get views because drama drama seems to sell on YouTube and the more drama there is the better it is for people to sit and to sit and watch it. My YouTube channel was never about drama. It was about enjoying the things that I enjoy doing and coins I'm not really enough knowledge I've not really got I've not really got enough knowledge on but the thing was is I liked being I liked being part of part of something or feeling as if I was part of something and that's why I joined the coin community of the USA side and the thing was is my dad always loved going to auctions and he used to take me to auctions and I wanted to understand how an auction worked and the curiosity about how much something was worth but the thing is uh, items only worth what somebody wants to pay for it but you do see old antiques and you sort of go you sort of blows your mind as in to see something and you think wow that's worth that and that's what sort of it's not the money side yet that really interests me. It's the history of it and how old it is and how somebody appreciates the work that went into that item or the item itself. And sometimes what happens is that the auction will get a, a phone call but this video wasn't about all that I'm just trying to explain what I want to show and the reason why I want to show this is because I don't see me ever getting to monetization and as I said I'm not saying I'm gonna quit YouTube and I'm not saying that I'm not gonna keep doing videos but I just wanted to show you something now this is what came out on YouTube or as being a creator and as you can see there's the YouTube this is a YouTube studio and if you can see it there's a part that says part one the minimum requirement and I've done the first part which says a thousand subscribers but I don't know if you can see the next part it says that you need to do 4,000 watchers in the last 365 days. I've only got 227 public watchers and they've also brought out that you have to do, or it says one of the following and it says 2k or it says it's got 2k 
I've done 2k of public shots views in the last last 90 days and you got to do two, 10 mil you got to do 10 you got to do t 10 million or it says 10m on it so you got to do that and that's you become but then you get then when you get that section you got to pass channel review and if you pass channel review that's when you get your monetization but to make money off of YouTube you have to have a good following and you've got to have put keep putting videos on all the time as in like a video maybe say once a week at least to even make it and off of YouTube and the only reason that I wanted to be able to do that was because I don't work f I don't work full time and it's not because I don't want to work that's not the reason what happened a long time ago was I was on what they call job seekers allowance in the UK which I'm still in the UK and they said that it looked like I'd only done the work that needed to be done or the requirements in a two nights that looked as if it had been done in a two in a two night in a, in two nights and they were wrong what they said but it was them that advised me to go into ESA which is employment employment support allowance which basically is like a sick pay and I've been on that a long time now and the thing is that they've let me down on many occasions as in the job centre or the the government benefit system and that's why I'm always worried that if they ever sanctioned or put a sanction on my benefit then I would have something to fall back on and that's the reason why I started doing YouTube was to have a plan or plan B in case that actually happened because I thought well how am I supposed to support myself but I don't want I don't want donations or people giving me donations and taking pity and feeling sorry for me I just think it's worth doing videos and people enjoying the videos and for me to put something back on the table and the reason why I started buying coins is because I thought well at least I have because my, my, my dad used to say if you have physical stock you can show that item and say I own that because you could turn around and say I've had this say for instance this I've had that coin some people don't believe you because you don't possess it if you can actually show a physical stock and say I actually have that and they go well I like that I would like to buy that off you how much do you want for it then that gives you something to start off with and I think that's why I started doing coins was to give something back to give something back at least to put something on the table and say right I've got this do you either want it or to actually do giveaways to give something back to the supporters because I felt well if you're giving somebody a donation that's out of the goodness of your heart so you're saying well I believe either I believe in that person and I want to see them do better or you enjoyed the video and that's your appreciation to them and I thought well at least that if I give something back to them it makes me feel better because it means then that I haven't took anybody's money and give, gave them nothing and that was the whole idea with the coins 
and to do the to do the wheel as well. But the thing is, when I do the wheel or when I did the wheel, I didn't ask for money for spots because I just don't have the heart to ask for money because I don't see it right in taking money off of anybody in false pretenses. And that was why I turned around and started doing the minimum as in the, the minimum prizes that you got you got back. Because I thought, well, at least they get something back for their money or something back if they want to donate to the shipping pot fund. And the shipping pot fund is only there because it means then that if I go to send stuff out to people as in coins and say, for instance, that the, they live further afield, it means it's costing me money for to post it. And the idea of the shipping pot fund was to be able to have that pot there for to send people their items. And it's because that I would have to do more work as in if I was giving them the coins plus also paying for the shipping. And I don't ask people to do that. I don't ask for that. I say, I say on the video, or I say, I've said a million times that it's not compulsory. It's up to the person if they want to donate to the shipping pot fund. That's up to them. I'm not forcing anybody to do it or not. That's up to them. But I think I'll finish here, guys. Thanks. Bye.